sneak. Uh, let's go to the next question. So, since you used to work in NLP domain, right? So, can you tell, like, can you share your experience in why you work in an NLP domain? Like, for example, how you improve your model, or deploy a model, or what sort of metrics you use in NLP domain? Sure. So, currently, we really we heard a lot of things about transformer based neural networks that is being used in NLP and uh, names are like GPT-2, GPT-3 and then bird based model and these are quite good models to apply in NLP. What these models do, it will take a text, any sentence and convert it into numbers, embeddings and then these numbers we can apply to any of the algorithms like even normal algorithm normal machine learning classification algorithm to classify. Suppose we want to build a sentence based uh, maybe positive and negative classifier which is one of the basic, basic example. Given a sentence you have to tell whether it sound positive or it sound negative or it's neutral. So first what you do you use these models to convert this sentence into some numerical format. And then that format will can go to any classification or algorithm like SVM or one layer perceptron. And usually what people used to do here was they used some old methods like TF, ITF and other things. But now this has been replaced by recent method as I said BERT. So this is what we do. And then whenever we get a score, scores of these models, we just try to compare whether it's outperforming the previous results or whether it's not. And once we have done this thing, we have to create some type of software or around it to mm -hmm. uh, push it as a production, push it in a production system. Okay, I see. Um, since you have been in machine learning so far, been a while, so can you share with us like what is the difficulties so far that you have faced in the field of machine learning? So the most, there are two types of difficulties. First are concept based difficulties. Usually the papers and the research is going very rapidly. Mm. So people have to maybe take half an hour or one hour every day to learn about, not every day, but I would say every week maybe few hours three four hours to learn about the new things that is relevant in their field and in some cross field which they can use in their own field and this is some of the difficulty because usually you are developing a system and then there is some other algorithm that is state of the art and even improve so you don't want to use that like say for an example bird which was released by google was very good algorithm for uh, downstream NLP tasks like classification based tasks. But then suddenly a new algorithm come, distill BERT, which can do the same task without losing much accuracy and it's very lightweight. So we can implement it faster in any system, even embedded system. So these thing is the first technicality where we have to keep updated with the field. And second thing about coding thing. So sometimes it's very difficult to debug a machine learning uh, algorithm because sometimes our data is like no, incorrectly normalized or loss function is not going down and things like that. But recently there have been a lot of products that have been released to see the systems. And one example I would like to give is wet and biases. It's like a version control type of thing, not directly version control, but machine learning dashboard where you can see your model improvement over time and then can debug if something, some error is happening. I see, I see. Um, very clear answer. So let's go to now, let's move to focus on the people, the students or any machine learning engineers uh, is following the machine learning engineer path. So uh, do you have any recommends for a starter or for a newbie or for anyone who is studying at university want to follow machine learning, uh, machine learning engineering path, what they should do in order to get a job in machine learning field? And how should they prepare their CV in order to apply for like big tech company in the world? 
Sure. So for this field, if someone don't know anything and starting from zero, so first I would suggest is do some normal. You see some YouTube playlist for mathematics for machine learning, and don't make like more than ten hours on this thing because it's just for starting. Then after doing that. i would suggest to go through the online courses by the best universities like stanford or some other university like university of california berkeley so these courses are mostly online and it's free you can go and view them and at the same time if there are any projects that these people are doing you should also try to do that project and solve some assignments that they are doing this way your fundamental will be clear and after that after doing the machine learning course you can put take some specialization like there are co- specialization nlp computer vision or speech recognition mm-hmm. and do the same thing with those courses and after that try to do your own personal project on github one example of personal project would be create a website which a person can paste their code and using uh, the internal model you can predict which language is the code from whether it's from java with python or something and try to take like complete this pro- one project every month and do maybe five or six projects and after that you are good enough to apply to open source contribution and there you can start making network and from network you can start applying to big company so that's the part everyone should take and i would suggest against taking any paid courses of machine learning because they are not that good and they always have some technical error rather take free courses from the best people who are teaching machine learning that than some sense. paid courses that makes sense and um and i think this uh, approach also apply for even startup company as well not only big company yeah. but startup and on kind of company yeah i would always suggest like if you don't have a masters or phd degree it might be difficult in current scenario to directly get a job in big company so rather g- apply for startup or some other research institute maybe in a university as research assistant and there that will boost your profile i see yeah that makes sense thanks thanks nick um so i think now let's go to the last question So, what do you think about the future of machine learning? Uh, so, future of machine learning is, I think, would be very bright, and uh, machine learning will become as common, or maybe as common as Git, because <laughs> machine learning, the idea behind machine learning, it helps to minimize any one task to write more rules. Let's suppose how computer vision started. Suppose we want to find the image face, recognize the face from an image. So at that time we used to write, download the pixels, and then write some application about the pixels, like how pixels should form to recognize it as a face. But now we use machine learning algorithm. Machine learning decide itself what should be weights and everything that should be assigned to recognize it as a face. so it decrease our task so at the same so similarly i think everywhere in all domain of the world machine learning will be used to minimize this rule based task and machine learning is also very good tool for data analysis because data analysis need a lot of rule based things like what should the threshold be and everything while machine learning even if you don't have supervised data you can do uh, labeled data you can do some unsupervised data to get some good data analysis right now machine learning is going ahead and i don't think it has reached peak yet but once it reach peak it will become stagnant from there and it but it won't be going down and it, this field is here to stay i see i see that very makes sense and yes um i think um i totally agree with with that and i believe that the future of machine learning will you know very big uh, that's why like uh, students or IT student uh, used to choose machine learning engineer field in order to uh, follow in the future and that is really really good field in the future for IT mm-hmm. student yes 
I think that's on for today uh, discussion. So thank you so much, Nick, for uh, joining me uh, today question, uh, session. And uh, if anyone who is interested in machine learning or AI investing, so uh, you guys can uh, follow uh, Nick Q channel. I will paste the link in the description. And once again, thank you so much for uh, sharing a lot of um, you know useful information related to machine learning. And that's really, really useful to us. So thank you and goodbye, Nick. Thank you. It was a pleasure and hope to collaborate in the future again. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.